Guys, check this out. Ooh, it's a Zion Smooth Excess Gimbal. Are you ready for some shots? Roll intro. Okay, so right now we're getting ready. We're setting up our gears and design smooth access for us to do our first smartphone gimbal shot, which is called reveal. Reveal shots can be done in two ways. One in revealing the subject or revealing the scenery. So the first thing to do on revealing the subject is either you reveal from the ground Reveal from things while doing some backward shot Reveal sidewards Or to reveal from things while tilting your camera down until you see the subject For revealing the scenery, all you have to do is to focus your shot and composition on the subject first then after that, you can pass through your subject and change the focus on the scenery. Next is jib or crane shot. For this one, all we have to do is to hold our gimbal and use our body and arms to move upwards. Then we can stop once the manage natin yung specific height that we want for our shot. Or we can also stop moving upwards once the nag-stop na rin yung subject. Coming up next is orbit shot. For orbit shots, we can do either wide or a tight shot depends on what kind of look we want to achieve. For wide orbit shots, all we have to do is to set our camera to wide, then rotate to our subject. We can do this kind of shot if we want to tell our audience that our subject is present to its environment. And for tight orbit shots, we can do this kind of shot to tell the audience that we are only focusing on the subject. Because using a tight focal length while rotating to a subject will produce more separation to the background. And will introduce some vertigo effect wherein your background will move faster than your subject. Next is overhead shot. For this shot, all we have to do is to elevate ourselves or pumatong tayo on any kind of object that will make us taller. And by that, we can do some cool high angle establishing shots and beauty shots for our subject. And for our fifth shot, it's called the Asap Rocky Inverted Orbit Shot, wherein we are going to do some orbit shot on our subject, but this one is a little different because we will do it while our subject is laying on the ground. So, we are going to do the orbit shot vertically. And now let's turn this into this. So before we continue to our video, I just want to tell you that I've partnered up with Zion Tech Philippines and we're going to give away one Zion Smooth XS smartphone gimbal. If you are interested and want to win this gimbal, all you have to do is check my Facebook page or Facebook account for the mechanics. Next is follow and track and shot. For this shot, all we have to do is to take a shot on the right timing. And in order to do that, we have to move our body and camera in accordance to our subject's movement. For example, I want to track the waves, then all I have to do is to move with the waves. Kumbaga, tayo yung mag adjust sa subject natin to achieve this kind of shot. And here's another example. And for our 7th smartphone gimbal shot, it is called the POV. For this one, we are going to change our gimbal mode to POV mode. Then, we can shoot and follow our subject wherever we like. These kind of shots are best if you have a fast-moving subject and we want to track or follow the movement of his body. Next is pull-out shot. Pull-out shots are shots wherein we are going to move the camera away to our subject 
for us to establish both the subject and the location. On the other hand, pushing shots are the opposite, wherein we are going to move the camera towards the subject. And for the record, this kind of shot is very cool to use when introducing someone. And for our last shot, it is called the 360. For this shot, all we have to do is to change our gimbal mode to FPV mode, then all we have to do is to press the joystick upward or downward while taking the shot for us to express a moody vibe or feeling to our viewers. 360 shots are the best when creating cinematic videos. So if you're planning to buy your new smartphone gimbal, here's an overview for the Zion Smooth XS. So as you open the box, the first thing you will see is the quick start guide, the smartphone gimbal itself, the tripod, the storage bag for your gimbal, a wrist lanyard to hold your gimbal securely, and a USB-C cable for charging your device. When it comes to build quality, the gimbal's body is made up of plastic, but it feels premium in quality when you feel it with your hands. The gimbal weighs 249 grams which is very light and it provides a grip that is very comfortable feeling with an anti-slip rubber in the hand to prevent your gimbal from falling to the ground. And what I like the most about this build is that it has a 260mm or 0.85 foot telescopic rod to achieve a high angle shots like what you just saw earlier. For battery life, a minimum of 3 hours of charging time and 4 to 5.5 hours of non-stop usage depends on the weight of your smartphone and the environment's temperature. So to prepare on shooting with your Zion Smooth XS gimbal, all you have to do is to rotate the handle 180 degrees clockwise until you can see the buttons. Slide this down and rotate the smartphone handle clockwise. Once you are done, put your smartphone in the gimbal and start balancing your phone until it stays in place. Open your gimbal, connect your phone to its Bluetooth, then you're ready to go! For its modes, as you open the gimbal, it's automatically set to pan and tilt follow. And as you press the mode button once, then you will be a tilt follow or you can do some lock mode shots. And when you set the button twice, it will be set to portrait mode, which is very good for Instagram and Facebook stories. Press the button 4 times, then you will achieve the FPV mode and you can do this awesome 360 shot by either rotating your gimbal sideward or pushing the joystick upward or downward. And when your hands are a little busy, hand gesture is always ready to play and stop your video when using the ZY Kami app. And for its price, it's currently at 4,295 pesos and it is offered in 4 different colors. The ivory white, early pink, lemon yellow, and the navy blue. You can buy the Zion Spoon XS on Shesta.ph, which is on the link in the description below, and other authorized dealers of Zion Tech products on the Philippines. So before I end this video, I would like to thank Epidemic Sound for always providing the best music and sound effects for my videos. Whether I do tutorials, vlogs, and sharing my editing process, Epidemic Sound has always been my go-to music library. They provide a categorized music library depends on what kind of video you will do. Whether it's an ad, a cinematic video, music for weddings, or you want to give a specific mood to your audience, Epidemic Sound is the ideal music library for you. You can check the link in my description below to avail a 30-day free trial. So, I hope that you've learned a lot when it comes to shooting with your smartphone gimbal. This video has been requested a lot by a lot of people in the mobile filmmaking community so I told myself, why not give it a try? Um, I hope that you've learned from this one because actually, there is no big difference in shooting with your DSLR on a gimbal and shooting with your smartphone on a gimbal except for the quality. And as a matter of fact, mas lang enjoy akong gamitin tong smartphone on a gimbal kasi as a run and gun filmmaker, I prefer my gear to be as lighter as possible. Kasi syempre, shoot dito, shoot dyan. So if mabigat yung gears natin, mas madali tayong mapagod. And of course, I want to save a lot of time when shooting. So mas prefer ko na konti lang yung gears ko and magaan. Para mas mabilis lang yung setup. So, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you on the next one. Have a great day and God bless.